الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم على نبی محمد وعلى آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی says في كتابه الكريم الله سبحانه وتعالى says قال تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا كلوا من الطيبات ما رزقناكم واشكروا واشكروا لله إن كنتم إياه تعبدون الله سبحانه وتعالى addresses the believers so this is imperative that we eat halal that our earnings are halal that there are things that are permissible for us to eat so Allah addresses the believers he says ya ayu alladheena amanu o you who believe eat from the tayyibat you know eat from the good that we have provided for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who provided you with the halal. He's the one who gave you the option and he created everything. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of his infinite grace and mercy, has blessed you with halal. So take the halal needs and avoid the muharramat. Allah orders us to take from the tayyibat. Kulumina tayyibat. من الطيبات ما رزقنا ما رزقناه ما رزقناكم from what we have provided for you Allah is our رزاق He provided it for us إن الله طيب لا يقبل إلا الطيب verily Allah is is goodness and He only accepts goodness سبحانه وتعالى and then Allah سبحانه وتعالى says He orders us after He He lets us know that He He's the one who provides us the tayyib. He orders us to, to take from the tayyibat. He affirms that He is the provider, the sole provider for us. Then He says, and this, this is wajib upon us after that. It, it lets us know that, that is uh, from our fitra even, that we should thank those who provide for us. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us, He says, وَشْكُرُوا لِلَّهِ And be grateful to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In kuntum iyahu ta'budun. If it is him, you truly worship. So and, and, and that lets us know, look at the ayat itself. It is a khatab lil mu'mini. It is addressing the believers first and foremost. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. He says, Ya yulidina amadu. He's addressing the believers, letting them know. That he provides for them tayyibat. And that we should thank him for that. If we true if it is truly uh, he that we worship. So be thankful to Allah and grateful to Allah for what He's given you, for the little things and the big things. And one of the ways we show thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by being obedient to Him. Exercising taqullah azza wa jal. Doing righteous deeds. A'mal as-salih. Doing the righteous deeds that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. During this holy month, trying to stand in Qiyam al-Layl. Outside of this holy month, try to stand in Qiyam al-Layl. <coughs> try to at least make winter a part of your life. At least, if nothing else, one rakah after Isha. Or two, and then one. Even if it's right after Isha, then you've done your winter. Make that a regular part of your life. Be thankful to Allah by following the sunnah of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, doing those duties that the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam has laid out for us. Uh, uh, that he's shown from his sunnah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Fearing Allah as much as you can Striving to have taqwa Striving to do the little deeds 
because those things are beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the big ones. Consistent small deeds are better than big deeds that you do once. Doing Qiyamah layl the whole night one time and then not doing it again. It's better for you to make winter one rakah after Isha every day consistently is better than that if you made a hundred rakah in one night or whatever. The point being is be consistent with your righteous deeds. And that's a way we can thank Allah for the tayyibat, for the, the, the righteous provisions that He has provided for us. Allah is our razzaq. And we thank Him and, we, and when, when we seek His forgiveness, and we ask Allah with, for the strength to come closer to Him and to make true tawbah and, and avoid the evil wickedness that we that our, our, our ourselves do, that we're inclined to. In Alhamdulillah, Nahmudu Ta'ala wa Nasta'inu wa Nasaghfuru. Really, all praises belongs to Allah. We, we seek refuge in Him. We seek His forgiveness and we seek His, His help and aid. Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to provide for us from the tayyibat. And those people who are not blessed to have righteous, lawful rizq. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with that. And for them to be thankful and for Him to increase our rizq. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to spend in a manner that pleases Him. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Karim. And what we have provided for them, they spend. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahla and Faq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.